my friends, hello. Happy Thursday. Yes. Uh, I actually need to double check something real fast. Did I change this correctly? Okay. I think so. Is, is the game showing up properly for you guys on my stream? Uh, hello, everybody. I... <laughs> I accidentally pulled a trick and I didn't even mean to do it. I didn't even mean to do it. Uh, it does. Okay. It is showing a citizen sleeper on my end. Okay. I am playing citizen sleeper today. Yes, 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 yes. Oh no, lady. Ar I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please. Should I start whispering from now on? Um, Hello, everybody. Good morning to you. Uh, Coleman for being first. Congratulations. Uh, Lady Iron, good morning. Charles and Spooky, good morning. Um, I I accidentally hit the start streaming button before I hit the save, um, you know, stream information button. That was an ab like absolute accident. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, like if I go into my VODs, it might actually show the old stream title first. I don't know. But uh, I, that might have thrown Lady Iron off. I don't know. I didn't mean to do it. But Coleman swooped in there and grabbed the first out of nowhere. Snatched from the jaws of defeat. So, <laughs> and, and I guess we got added to Lady Iron's list um, of very cool people. A poop list now. Uh, a, a, a poop, like a list of coolest poop people. That's what I think is is what it is. <laughs> too many work tabs, not enough monitors. Ah, oh, too true, too true. Actually, um, one of the one of the project managers at work, uh, I, I was explaining how my not very old MacBook of uh, my work computer, um, I've already got like a notification from the system saying, uh, "Hey, you should get your battery serviced." because it sucks and i'm like what the heck this computer's not old so anyway the the guy told the one of the project managers like he said uh you know try to do uh, somebody uh, some one of somebody said turn your screen brightness down somebody else said to uh don't use chrome uh use firefox instead and i was like i have been looking for more reasons to use firefox instead of chrome probably should do that but uh, I don't know that it matters too much. I, I really don't know because the, the problem is, is the battery is just not, not very good anymore. So but it like, like yesterday I was doing a, uh, or Tuesday, I was doing a little presentation and it was at 95% when I started the presentation. By the time I was done about 20 minutes later, uh, I was at 14% and, and it didn't really go down. It just all of a sudden went 95, 14. So. Anyway, uh, is it 5 p.m. yet? Oh, sorry, Coleman. Staring down the barrel of a swampy day today. 85 freedom units pre-humidity. Yeah, I know. Uh, and we'll, I'll be out on a, on a track today uh, coaching my high schoolers at their conference meet. So I'm a little bit, a uh, little concerned about that. The girls, uh, the girls definitely uh, had some of their energy zapped on Tuesday from it. So we're supposed to get rain most of this week, but it seems to have missed us, thankfully. Too soon for such what? Yeah, definitely too soon. I was going to go to an antique show on Saturday, but 85 with no shade sounds ick. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I was actually, I registered for a track meet on Saturday, but I don't, I don't know that I'm going to go. Uh, not because the weather's going to be too hot, but um, I mean, that's maybe a little bit of a factor, but carry around a little parasol to give you some shade. Very high society. <laughs> I would. Hey, you guys, what's going on, Charles? How's your day treating you thus far? Uh, I am sorry to have hurt your eardrums, Lady Iron. I really am. Sorry to hear you didn't get first today, Iron, or Spooky Deer. There's always tomorrow. P-O-O-P -O -O -P stands for Persons of Outstanding Performance. So, okay, we are, in fact, on the list then, I would say. Turn your brightness down as the new get red RGB lights for more frames. <laughs> is that right? Battery. Does the battery matter if it's just plugged in all the time? Um, so the funny thing is it is plugged in almost all the time, but I do. Uh, I did use it off battery. I've used it off battery twice in the last two days. Um, 
and it would be nice if it if it did function as a laptop but um yeah i use it off battery uh because i i was only going to be in the office on on tuesday for like an hour so i i did bring my charger but i didn't plan on using it um so i did keep it off battery for for some of that time but um yeah, it was already complaining at me that it was going to die uh, in that one hour that it was off there. And again, it's just, it's not that old, you know? Um, but, yeah, probably why the battery is so wonked out. It could be, yeah, it could be. Um, and then also I had to hustle into practice yesterday and do my uh, registrations for our girls' uh, postseason. So I had to do that off... off uh, on battery so small victory me yesterday went to the gym and had a good workout didn't even get intimidated by all the weirdly jacked old dudes lots of weird old man strength bopping around there <laughs> it's very true though i know exactly what you mean i know exactly what you mean there are seriously some very jacked old men uh at, at i mean depending on the on the facility you go to yeah um and actually there is a guy that teaches at the school I coach at. And I don't know how old he is, but he's he's getting up there and he is definitely could beat me in a fight. Like I I mean <laughs> no contest. Uh so yeah. Does the work computer just have IT get you a new battery? So the problem, uh Charles, it's a MacBook for one. So that means they'd have to take my machine away. Um and then uh number two, it took them forever to even find me this computer to begin with. I'm not entirely sure that it was a new computer. Uh, I, I, I don't know. It, it was very clean. Like, there, it looked new, but at the same time, I'm sort of like, eh, when I got my machine when I first started working here, it came to me in a box, you know? Like, this one they just handed me. It's like, here you go. And so I'm like, mm. and and then the, the, the cord was all wrapped up, and they gave me, like, a uh, one of these hub things uh, because it I don't have a USB port, uh, so they gave me one of these hubs. You know, um, that's like USB to USB C, uh, and I'm sort of like that was all I got. It was that hub, my my charging cable on top, and then my my MacBook just handed to me like like a pizza. You know, I don't I don't know, I don't know. So COVID times have uh, messed everything up. Did someone call for a jacked old man? <laughs> Who can do 350 pounds of lower back extensions? Not me. Right. Yeah, I know. What's going on, Nidalicious? They do install all the miners and tracking software before you get it. Well, that is true. That is true. But like, I mean, even on my my original machine, um, the box wasn't sealed. It just I had the box with all the literature and all that other stuff. I don't know. It's just very strange. But they do. I mean, they do install all that stuff on there. Now, what I could do uh, that and yeah, I didn't do it, but I could. Um, <laughs> Somebody I know at work, I won't say uh, won't say anything about this person other than uh, they did tell me that uh, they just th they uh, partitioned their drive. Uh, so their like work drive is a small part of their uh, partition, reformatted the other partition, and then uh, they just work on that one. <laughs> so they're off <laughs> they're off the grid on the other one. So I'm like, that's pretty brilliant, actually. So, yeah. Because uh, the other thing, too, is they, you know, being developers, they have to give us, they have to give us uh, admin rights or at least uh, some form of admin rights because they're not going to install all of our dependencies for us. You know what I mean? Like, they're not going to do all that. It's hundreds of st things that they'd have to do. So first thing I did was wipe the entire thing. Is that right? <laughs> See, I honestly considered it. Um I don't know. I could. I mean, I could. I could just do it and be like, "Yeah, I'm be honest. My perf the performance is terrible on this. I can't even go, you know, an hour off on battery uh, because of all the crap you guys run on there." And that wouldn't actually be the reason, but you know, I could try it. So, <clears throat> um, my friends, happy, uh, happy Thursday to you. I have been walking around all morning, and it's been feeling like a Friday. So that's uh, rip me, I suppose. Uh, today we're going to be playing some Citizen Sleeper. I only just recently realized it's a short game. I didn't know that. Uh, I don't know how short exactly. I guess it also depends on the choices you make. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get into it. I do have to kind of keep an eye on my uh, cellular device today because 
uh, as I've mentioned over the last uh, two days, we've had people in town at work, um, and uh, they uh, they are going to be traveling back today. But uh, I did not get to spend very much time with my fellow co-workers. Hello there. Hello there to you, True Celt. Greetings, greetings. Uh, I, I did not get to spend very much time with my co-workers, uh, which I was bummed about because of my track schedule. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so I'm keeping an eye out. They're, they're, they're going to be leaving today, but I don't know if they're having any sort of get-together uh, later this morning or not. So I'll be keeping an eye out for that. Uh, my corporate machine is a fantastic new Dell Latitude, which has all the bells and whistles. Unfortunately, the development machine, de development machine I have to use is an old laptop that is about three generations behind and slow. Wait, why? Why do you have to use a uh, use a separate computer? Whole week has had a weekend slash Friday energy, and maybe it's just the warmer weather. I I don't know, but help hope your day is going well, my friend. Uh, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's, I think it may be, the weather is definitely throwing me off for sure. For sure. For sure. Uh, I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right. I'm launching the game currently. Um, yeah, I had a bit of a rough workout yesterday too. I had to, I had to, I had to tell myself it's one of those weird things about about training alone. Uh, I had to try to balance, uh, you know, my strain of my workout, but also safety in the heat. Um, I ran my first rep, uh, and it was it was ninety degrees uh, air temperature. Um, feels like ninety four, but when you're on a track, because the track is is black. Uh, it absorbs a lot of heat and sun, uh, so it's generally, you know, it couldn't be anywhere between 5 to 10 degrees warmer on the track. Um, so, I mean, I mean, I'd say it probably is about 100 degrees on the track surface. Um, and I had a workout that was a longer interval yesterday uh, planned. Ran the first one, and I had to ask myself, am I a little dizzy? Like, it's, it, it was hard to tell, but I could, I could kind of tell it, something wasn't quite right. But I took my recovery time, and I felt felt okay so i went to go run the second one i died kind of hard on the second one and it was pretty apparent yeah i'm getting dizzy so uh when you train alone like that and my phone is about 100 meters away from the finish line um uh to kind of power my music i was like i can't really like i can't push through this i gotta be careful because if something were to happen i'd have to crawl 100 meters to my phone and that's just not gonna like to try to get help and that's not going to work. So I had to cut my workout short yesterday. I think it was just dehydrated. Um, it just it, acclimation to the heat takes a little time, you know. Develop on a spun up virtual desktop. Do you really? What uh, what do you use? All I do know is that on my list of priorities, work is ranking somewhere in the quadruple digits. <laughs> Thanks, Nidalicious. Uh, use a government client issue machine for the development work. Uh, they do it for security reasons. Uh, so security through like ob obsolescence. Is that it? Uh, GFE is locked down pretty tightly. Government furnished equipment. Oh, uh, okay. Only got back to practice this week, and an old higher belt was also back from a longer time away. After us sparring, he told me, you become a dangerous man. There you go. There you go. The company servers. Okay. So, oh, okay. So you just... Interesting. Okay. So you're... It's almost like a thin client kind of deal, where you, you like, remote into uh, one of their, like, machines and you develop on that you could probably use the citrix vir uh, virtual desktop too but the citrix access gateway is sometimes unstable and slow security through obsolescence sounds like a fax machine <laughs> right how are you doing today michelle yeah i try to think about that like uh, uh I, there are 
But I, I worked IT for an internship I did, uh, and that's honestly was was one of the things I wondered about sometimes. Like, th these servers that they're running are so old. I mean, running like servers 95, you know, and stuff like that. It's like, it's like, uh, this is, uh, I, <laughs> I don't know. This just doesn't seem right to me. Are you using Citrix for that too? So yeah, I was what I was thinking was like you were running like a virtual box or something, and I'm I'm like, man, that okay, that doesn't seem very efficient, but uh, that is not in fact the case. Sounds like. So. Let's do this. Let's do this. It appears, please. There we go. Citrix is a virtual desktop. So, okay, so it's not, I honestly, I, I, I'm trying to remember which, which job I had that they, people did use Citrix in. I feel like that was, actually, I think that was the job that I worked IT in that I was talking about. Uh, I feel like my mom had to use that. Cause see, when I worked there, IT, the IT department had actual computers, but my mom, for instance, it was a company my mom worked at. That's, that was the connection there to get my internship. Um, and they needed some help in the IT department. Uh, so <clears throat> she had like a what they, they called a thin client. And, and so it didn't have like a hard drive. It didn't have anything really. It just, well, maybe it did have a hard drive, but it didn't have like basically all she had to, all she could do, like it could not work without internet. She had to boot it up and then she had to log into the company servers. So provides layer of access on top of Microsoft, what used to be terminal server. Okay. Gotcha. 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 Yeah, I didn't know if uh, Thin Client was, I don't know how, I, 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 I'll I be honest, I'm like, I've never worked anywhere else where people used those, so it was, it was a bit odd, but uh, I think the thing was, is that the company was a little bit, a um, little bit over manager, they over managed a bit, uh, and they didn't really trust people to just do the right thing, uh, so they kind of just locked everything down, but used to administrate that stuff back in the day, nice, very nice. You want to talk old servers? Our deep down backbone is still some COBOL big data machines that apparently cannot be migrated without outages of a few weeks, if not months. That's that's impressive right there. I'm not even upset. I'm just impressed. Does anyone have an Elgato key light? I've been having trouble getting mine set up, which is weird because it's a lamp. Uh, talk to Nonder. I believe Nonder has key lights. I think. Yeah, I would check with Nonder. I do not. Uh, I do not. I've actually been wanting one, uh, or maybe even two, but I think I'll probably end up getting there. Uh, I wanted to wait a little while because some of these other companies are going to make, I'm sorry, Elgato, but some of these other companies are going to make the same thing for, but for, you know, less money. So, and I don't say less money. I, what I should say is a fraction of the cost, uh, because Elgato, you know, Elgato be Elgatoing out here, but it's Elgato. So it's fancy. Probably got an Elgato logo in the middle of the output line. <laughs> yeah. IRL tech talk. Yeah. Uh, so what is it? Are you trying to get, uh, are you trying to get like the remote settings set up? Is that what it is? Machinist level four, baby. Logitech has this. Yeah, it was Logitech. I think that I saw a $6 one gives off less light, but that's fine for a smaller setup. Yeah, for sure. And I don't know. Um, I mean, if you guys could see the lights that I use, I probably don't need that much light. These, none of these lights are particularly powerful that I have. Okay, I just started a new turn. This game is so freaking cool, you guys. Like, I... I don't know, I just really... I really enjoyed it. Uh, I know it's been a while since we played... We haven't played it in almost a week. It's, it was last Friday, but... So I kind of have to get my bearings back, but... Uh, let's see. I can do this, right? Yes. So various nodes that I can interact with. Although I don't think I can interact with any of the others. And then again, I did roll a one this time. Some gang enforcers implants are chirping out comm signals. Time to see what they are talking about. Just trying to get it to stay on. Uh, not sure if I'm having to go through some weird setup process or if I have a faulty one. Oh, it's, it won't stay on. Huh. Doesn't sound good. Should I do Yadagon Agent? There's a key node here. That's also one. Node pulses faintly as it mines cryo at a glacial pace. Abandoned by the hacker that repurposed it. Ooh, I can collect some cryo here. Yeah, we're doing it.
Uh, got an encrypted key. So I have, uh, half an inch data and also a, an encrypted key now. All I've got left are two twos, though. I don't think that those are... S oh, wait a minute. Is this here? And that takes a two. A half an inch member is broadcasting on the open network from here, leaving them open to data extraction. No, got a logo will reflect in my eyes so people will know who my corporate masters are. <laughs> Uh, do I do this one? Hang on a second. Is there any other uh, specific uses? Twos generally are not very good. I had I had a one and two twos. That is generally a terrible roll. Um, let me see if there's another use for a two. There's yeah, two twos. Okay. Okay, I think I'm just gonna do that then. I'm not gonna do anything else. Uh, although let's see, my energy is fading. Peachy, good morning to you. Hello, hello. Did you have a good day yesterday? Another two, okay. Keynote, who did this? So I can get an encrypted key from that. Do I want half an inch data or an encrypted key? Because I feel like that's what these are here. Weird request for a company, an eye tattoo is a bit much for how little they pay. <laughs> an eye tattoo. <laughs> oh gosh, that has given me the serious heebie-jeebies there, Kelt. Gross. Needles in the eye, no thank you, please. Please, no thank you. Uh, let's go with have an agent here. Uh, leaving them open to data extraction. So I don't trigger another hunter. Yeah, got another have an data here. All right. And then, uh, let's see. Uh, how am I doing on uh, cryo here? We got 36 cryo. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, yum, yum. Uh, let's see. Slime gate, have an inch. So we'll go with this keynote then. Or maybe not this keynote, but the other keynote. This one here. All right. Found another encrypted key. So I have two of each for what it's worth. For whatever it is worth. Okay. All hail Hypnotoad. <laughs> Not really. Uh, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, we told all along that we could live in the house while repairs are being done, but apparently that's not the case. So we have until June 1st to get all the city repairs done before we can actually move in. Oh, man. So you have until June 1st. So you've got like, shoot, like two and a half weeks. I mean, that's not very long. What is today? The 12th? Yeah, that's not very long. Supposed to be closing on the house tomorrow, so that's good. And my realtor called one of her recommended electricians to come out and do the work, so hoping to hear from him today. Wow. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that's that's frustrating. Um, because that's the thing, is like you know, you, you wouldn't probably wouldn't be so mad if they just told you that that the first time, you know. Go ahead and eat these. Uh it gives me two energy. So, yes. Okay. Back up to full energy, which makes, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. I have vial. Oh, shoot. I need to do that. Let me buy a vial of stabilizer. Uh, that's over here. Slum doctor mi millionaire over here. <clears throat> okay. Uh, hab block. It's a habitation block. Okay. First thing you see on entering is the glint of Toshiro's implants, like a cat's eyes in the dark of the corridor. He nods you in as you arrive at Sabine's door. The entryway is still dark and you push through the sheeting into the surgery. I have it. Sabine stands with a case open in front of them. A set of vials lined up inside, separated by foam inserts. They pick one up, rotating it in the warm light. I have no idea how Yadagon they trail off. We should treat this with caution. It looks authentic, but I have no idea if it really is what it appears to be. I'm the test case? That seems to be the case. Unfortunately, I'm not sure we have another choice. They gesture for you to sit on the bed. The stabilizer works under a similar principle to an immunosuppressant in a transplant operation in that it stops your body from rejecting the unfamiliar part of itself. In the case of your frame, the unfamiliar part is each of your biosynthetic organ groups, which over time are identified by your body as foreign material and therefore must be eliminated. 
<laughs> Yeet that out of there, Charles. What does this button do? Press it. Uh, luckily, most of the repairs are things we can do, like painting the deck and filling uh, some common cracks in the driveway. We have a city recommended HVAC guy come out and it's actually inspect the furnace to make sure it's all good. We'll be get it, I'm really hoping we can all get it done in two weeks. Yeah, definitely. So painting the deck, why is that something that the city would care about? Painting, or is just painting the deck something you want to do? Because I, I mean, and cracks in the driveway? I don't know, this seems very strange. Is it? Is it a? Is it an HOA trying to dictate these things to you? Because that, that seems pretty messed up if, if so. Like those to me seem more cosmetic, unless the cracks in the driveway are really deep or something. I don't know, that seems very strange. Sabine holds up a vial of the would-be stabilizer. However, unlike an immunosuppressant, the stabilizer doesn't do this by limiting your entire immune system. Instead, it re-encodes your biosynthetic organs with new protein chains which act as passcodes within your immune system. The stabilizer refreshes these passcodes, keeping your frames from keeping your frame from rejecting all of its own organs. Passcodes? In very basic terms, yes, they sigh. Look. What matters here is that the stabilizer should be able to encode any organic or biosynthetic matter to be accepted by your immune system. They glance away, at least if the stabilizer is genuine. The only way to know for sure is to inject the vial. They begin re readying the syringe. I will start with a small dose to limit the risk. Okay, let's do it. Sabine cracks the glass neck of the stabilizer vial and uses a syringe to extract a fraction of the liquid. They tap the syringe and you watch as if any sign might emerge from the clear liquid. Actually, no HOA? Yeah. HOAs. Depends on the codes. Uh, they sound awful. Yeah, they, I'm not a fan of HOAs, personally. This is all by the city. Huh, interesting. It's just cosmetic stuff, not actually ha anything dangerous. Yeah, that doesn't seem... That, to me, doesn't seem legal, then. Yeah. Seems weird that would all that would all keep you from getting to move in. Yeah, definitely. City, city government do be government. <laughs> That's too true. I could understand the city wanting electric work done before moving in, but not deck paint. Right. That's yeah, exactly. Exactly. Because that doesn't to me that doesn't seem like a danger. You barely feel the needle, your frame registering the initial injection, but with little response. A sensation begins to spread from the site, a fizzing, trembling wave the disperses through your arm with incredible speed. Your vision goes white, and when it returns, Sabine appears encased in shards of sparkling light that slowly fade into darkness as you settle back against the bed. You swim in darkness, muffled noises like an argument heard from underwater, prickling waves of cold. When you sit back up, Sabine is sitting by in a chair by the window, facing away from you, backlit by the glow of their slate. Awake? Yes. The stabilizer is genuine. They sit down beside the bed. I don't know how Yadagon acquired a case of this stuff, but they did. Sabine looks troubled, distracted. You should rest some more, but you're going to have to do that somewhere else. They gesture to the door. I have other patients. Sorry. Sabine nods towards the case. I'm afraid I can't offer you any more doses. You're going to need to pay for your next dose. Silence fills the room, and they return to their glowing slate. Looking around the room, it appears it seems different somehow, as if things have moved or shifted. You wonder how long you've been out. Sabine? Nothing comes free, sleeper. Remember that. You manage to get to your feet and wander out into the hallway. The queue stretches down the flickering corridor. Toshiro stands impatiently by the door and fixes you with a glare as you leave. You lower your eyes as you stumble past, somehow faintly aware of the station spinning beneath you. Okay. Look at this health now. So I haven't bought a vial of stabilizer, uh, so maybe that's why this has not. Oh, it's a hundred cryo. Shoot, shoot! I don't have nearly that much. Anything else I can do before I go to sleep? The more I see, the more I feel a little anti-gov. Personally, this is from a vet. Exactly. But hey, we like to paint things, so we'll probably get those little things done this weekend. City official looking at the driveway. What about your mother's back? <laughs> it's got to be out. Think of your mother. The electrical stuff. Uh, replacing a line from the service box outside. Removing a live wire from the electrical panel in the basement. So, uh, Peachy, can I tell you something about this place, too? 
there were two requests that we had made. Two requests that, well, actually, I think three, three requests we had made after the inspection of our house. Um, and uh, they had said uh, three that were going to get done. One of which was they were going to be re-shingling our roof. Bill, hello, hello. How are you doing today? Uh, they're gonna be re they were gonna be reshingling our roof, so I I said, hey, can we choose this roof color because they had originally used like red tiles and I wanted black tiles, uh, so they did let us choose that. So we did that, but then there were two other requests we had asked about uh, that they said they would do based on the uh, home inspection. Didn't do either of them. Didn't do either of them. So like, what is that uh, like? And and I even I we had asked our realtor like, well, what do we do? I can't remember exactly what she said, um, but I think the thing was, is like, okay, well, you know, if that's the case, we can challenge them and try to get some money out of it. And I'm sort of like, sounds like a lot of work for something that was not a major, like, deal breaker on the house. But I don't know. I just, let's put it this way. If, if this family was selling another house, I wouldn't buy it. I don't care how much I liked it. I wouldn't buy it. I'm just checking to see if there's anything else I should like, read or do any of these other places. Right, market. Don't have dice for any of this stuff. <clears throat> Bill, have you seen Doctor Strange yet? And if so, did you enjoy it, my friend? Still have not seen it, but I keep hearing so many, like... People either love it or hate it. That's, I feel like I haven't seen much else. Oh, I can put an encrypted key in here. Should I do that? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. All right. This is unsealing the dock, I guess? Is there another dock? Uh, there it is, yeah. Neovend 33, a mysterious machine. I'll have to check that out. The Ambergris. This was, I talked to somebody over here. Oh, right, I have to help her with hole repairs. That's what it was. Okay. Can't really request uh, the seller does things, though. They're selling it as is. Okay. Anything they do is purely on their own generosity, like they installed a carbon monoxide detector and capped a gas line in the basement. Gotcha, okay. This will be expensive. Uh, they always are. So much red tape on the average person. Velvet ropes for the money bags. I've lost a lot of faith in idealism uh, in the last five years. A lot of cynicism, not a lot of trust. Yeah, sadly. I Honestly, I, I, I feel like... Can I just say, Spooky, though? I feel like that's that's uh, that proves that you're a normal uh, uh, human. And uh, also, probably one that's um, generally compassionate towards others, I would say. Because... I will say this, uh, COVID definitely changed a lot of my personal beliefs. Uh, spooky? Normal? <laughs> uh, COVID changed a lot of my personal beliefs, and I got to thinking about it, I was like, man. But but to me, it was one of those things that's like, I thought about it more and more, and I'm like, no, it honestly, like, people should, like, it should have changed people. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's one of those things, like, if you, like, you don't go through, like, like it was a very traumatic thing for a lot of people. It's like, you don't just go through all of that trauma and come out the same person on the other side. That's not normal. Uh, but I know a lot of people that have been very frustrating throughout this whole, whole ordeal, to say the least. Um, and it basically pretending like it never happened. And I'm like, that's not normal to me. That is not normal. So, wait, wait, we're throwing a party? Some of a party for Spooky being normal? <laughs> Welcome to Spooky's normal party. Let's go. Put the meat spills out my hall. My hall. Oh, these black kings crawl. Crawl. Oh, ski, 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 ski. Oh, ski, ski. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, ski, 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 ski. Oh, ski, ski. Oh, man. Oh, man. Normalness, yes. <laughs> totally normal to throw a Viking party. <clears throat> Tama, welcome in. Uh, I just asked for the money instead so we could do it, but nothing as severe as shingling. Yeah, we didn't, so we didn't have to do any roofing ourselves. It was already, 
uh, it, it was, they, 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 that was one of the things like, uh, that was a condition when we bought, the, excuse me, when we bought the house, uh, we bought it knowing that they were going to put a roof on it. So yeah, that was, that was already like, they had already said, this is going to be getting a new roof. Uh, and we didn't even ask for it. Only thing I asked for was, Hey, can I choose the shingles for it? So, but yeah, just ask for money. Yeah. So I, and that's the thing I kind of wish it, it's all just, I mean, this is our first time buying a home, you know? So a lot of things that I didn't know. And if we ever do buy another house, then these are things that we will know for the next time, I guess. Uh, so really all this isn't going to break our bank, especially since the majority of the stuff is things we've had experience doing and can do in a weekend. That's good. That's good for sure. Hold the spoilers. They need to be. I don't think anybody will. I don't think anybody will spoil anything. Uh, not in this group, at least. I mean, we could get a random troll dropping in, I suppose. Wanted to watch, but I haven't found the time yet. People told me that they liked a lot. Gotcha. So you're hopeful, it sounds like, Phil. Yeah, I keep hearing, like, either it was awesome or it was terrible. And, uh, like, not much in between. What do you got? Neoven 33. As you slip inside the sealed dock... Wow, I'm going to be honest. That were that phrase there looked like something entirely different at first. A pulsing light grabbed your attention. Among the discarded tubing and rusted plates, the machine flickers with a warm glow. Uh, we're going to approach the machine. As you get closer, you recognize the machine's blocky shape, settled into an alcove in the side of the dock. A kind of upright cabinet, it is covered in faded logos and messages, from which you assume it was once an industrial vendor intended to dispense and manufacture ship fittings and other mechanical parts necessary for the regular running of freight and resource extraction vessels. That was a very long sentence. That was one sentence. No, two sentences. Starts up here. Okay. Jeez. Y'all are too good to me. Of course, Spooky. You're the most normal person I know, Spooky. <laughs> Making it rain for my normie friends. Ask the right person the pandemic didn't happen at all. I know, and that's like, that is not normal. That is, I, I don't like, I will take, I will fight anybody over that, though. Mike, what the heck, man? How you doing today, dude? Didn't know it was that kind of stream today. I know, right? <laughs> right. Oh, goodness. How you been, dude? A realtor recommended that the most severe was that we had to move the breaker box a few feet. It was in a bathroom. Wait, no way. Really? They put a breaker in a bathroom? Did you raise the roof? I uh, love the spelling there, too. <laughs> Where are we slip in chat? Where are we <laughs> pulsing? <laughs> I feel like COVID took the blinders off me. Lots of stuff that I think I would have excused in the past have always been critical. Uh, but now I'm less forgiving the side I agree with. Yeah, it, yes. Yes, that sounds very, very similar to how I feel, Spooky. Hate to break this to you, Spooky, but uh, idealism is for the youthful and cynicism is a normal part of this aging. <laughs> Tell them whippersnappers, get off Malone. Good buddy, how are you? Keep crushing the floor. I appreciate that, dude. Seriously. Uh, doing well otherwise, though. Uh, track's been taking up a lot of my time coaching and training. Uh, but it's been a good, it's been a really rewarding experience. So, uh, yeah, I just feel, I, I feel, feel good, but yeah, you're going to be coming out of retirement. You could, uh, maybe put together a four by one or something, or, you know, if you guys are feeling, uh, feeling frisky, a four by four, I don't know. Jersey Griffin, welcome in. Uh, I just heard that some countries are okay, but electricity and bathrooms, that's taking it a bit far. Electricity in the bathrooms, just, just, you know, the breaker. So you're, you know, taking a dump and the lights go out. You can easily, you know, flip them back on. So Jersey, how are you doing today? One second, I'm trying to keep an eye out on these work messages. Like I said. Okay, we're good. Work messages, uh, like, so we got people coming in from, we had people in this week from all over the country and uh, they're going to be heading back today, so. I was kind of hoping uh, some of them had mentioned brunch, um, but it sounds like they probably they're probably out too late last night and they don't want to do it. <laughs> they don't want to do it anymore. This is what happened. But the manufacturer is listed as NeoVend, and you remember an advert from long ago, squeezed among all the off-world recruitment drives that assaulted every planet-born citizen, which chirpily sang that name over and over. You wipe a layer of dust from the crack screen, thinking of those contractors squeezed by their own corporate employers to pay for every bit of minor maintenance on their rented ships. Enter your registration, chirps a pre-recorded message, catching you off guard. 
<laughs> press some keys. I'm just gonna press some keys. You reach for the keypad and something begins whirring. At first it sounds like servo motors starting up, but it quickly becomes a whisper. A whining, then a multi-tonal voice that emanates from Neovent. Jersey Griffin, appreciate that follow. Hang on a second. Try not to spill. Cheers to you, Jersey. This one's for you. Doing good things is Jersey between England and France, by the way, not the US state. Gotcha, gotcha. All good. So you're not from Joyzy. Gotcha. So you don't drink coffee. You're more of a tea drinker. <laughs> good, man. Well, we'll see. Uh, at the gym now, and first time I feel good in a while. Nice, dude. Getting pre approved and looking to maybe get lucky on a house. Oh, there you go. Uh, here soon, but it's tough. Miss coaching, though, and I'd love to get involved at a high school for sure once we settle somewhere. Well, uh, my friend, I have a deal for you. <laughs> Do I have a deal for you? Uh, if you just want to move of like, you know, I don't, I don't know, five, six hours south. Um, I have I, I have a, a connection at a high school uh, where you can coach. I don't know. Just throwing that out there. Just throwing that out there. So, not Joyzy. No. Yeah. Just the island that gave them their first governor. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Gotcha, gotcha. Well, welcome in. Seriously, good to have you. Are you a fan of Citizen Sleeper? Um, <clears throat> all right. So it's a voice. Entity, they hiss. Speak with me. Uh-oh. I got Last time I called, got called Entity, it was by a hunter, and it was really scary. Stay silent. There's a squeal, almost like some strange mechanical swallowing or intake of breath before the machine speaks again. I have need of you. You have need of me. That squeal comes again and you see that it is the 3D printing apparatus in the upper part of the machine resetting into place so that each time the servos can be orchestrated to produce that whirring, whining voice. You are in danger. Are you the vending machine? I keep forgetting too, my camera is blocking you guys. Okay, one second, let me move this again. How about that? I think that's in a less obvious space there in case you're reading along i mean i'm reading for you but in case you'd like to read along too so uh danger the machine creaks you are marked for deletion entity hunter tracks you the screech rattles through the empty dock yeah i knew that actually you remember the strange head the figure the threads closing in hunter the hunter protocol they taste your signature the sudden whine sets your teeth on edge you have seen them. This is the gift of an emulated mind. You close your eyes and the skeleton of the station starts to thrum. Emulated minds are adaptable. Move where neurons cannot. The mechanism resets, but emulation makes you a target. Adaptable? Yes, you can move through. Networks, clouds, hardware, software. Neoven wines. But you cannot hide there. Hunter is there. The servers, servos judder the vending machine's casing as they reset. Hunter searches for me also. Hide in this machine. You look at the ruined vending machine, an unusual hiding place for sure. Can counter Hunter, but need entity outside machine. The light flickers. Need you. A screen attached to the vending machine with a swiveling arm comes to life. It displays a flickering map of the station, ghostly, threaded. The cloud. Points along the rim glow in deep red. Hunter is always gathering. Too much data. Must build nests, explains Neovest. Neovend. Masters are gone, but continues hunt. Bring this data. Raid its nests. Uh, masters? Station builders. Solheim. The machine rumbles impatiently. Long gone. Their protocols still haunt. Bring offerings. Save self, Neoven says pointedly. Mutual need means friends, they conclude. Tired of the conversation. The whirring amplifies and then suddenly drops as mechanisms within the machine click back into place. The glow fades and you are left stood on the in the dark of the sealed dock, that whirring voice ringing in your ears. Okay, yeah, that makes, I'm gonna be honest, it makes no sense. Uh, I discovered a drive? Is that what that means? Okay. Do I have to use more keys here? Hunter data, which I, do, I don't have any hunter data. I have half an inch data and an encrypted key, okay. So to open the next part of that dock, I cannot do that yet. Okay, uh, this is just a timer that I have no control over. I think this one was too. Yes. 
All right. I think... I don't know that there's anything else I can do then other than sleep. I wanted to make sure... Oh, shoot. This is... Uh, one second. That's where I end the cycle. There is one other place I got to check out, which is this one here. The shipyard. And there's nothing I can do. Okay, perfect. So we're going to go to sleep. End cycle. Let's see if we wake up to another like weird event that's been happening every time. Wait, why did I lose? Oh, that's just, okay, that's just average. All right. But I did get five dice this time. First time I've, I've had five, I think, since the very first turn. What is this, Fang? What's Fang doing here? Look at all these. It's no Olympus. Study the winter light. Survive. You need access to corporate pharmaceuticals, otherwise this escape attempt will come to rapid end. I'm not gonna, let's do this one. This blasted ship came into the same yard as you did. Is there a connection or are you just paranoid? Uh, investigate the wreckage. That sounds pretty cool. Emphis loves two things, stories and food. Maybe if you supply him with both, you can hear his story. Eat at Emphis' stall, okay. Neovend is hiding from the Hunter Protocol. They need your help to counter it. Extract data for her uh, Hunter data. Okay, I actually do need to try that one out. And then uh, Ankita's Cutter is out of commission. Help her get it running again. Repair the ship's hull. Okay. Let's see, what is Fang doing, though? Sleeper. Fang catches your attention as you approach the Havenage building, leaning against a bay door to the side of the entrance. You approach. Easier to come in this way. Security, all that. He gives you a look. You know. He slams a button and the bay creaks open, blinking lights in the dark behind it. You follow Fang inside. Truth be told, I don't spend much time upstairs. This is where I work. The door hisses as it closes behind you. The bay is filled with pieces of hardware, all rigged up to generators and diagnostic slates and things you don't recognize that glow with blue screen light. There is a chorus of hums that blends into a single wave of static, filling the dark corners of the room. Fang leans, leans on a server rack and gestures around you. You like it? Uh, it's a mess. Hey, this whole station is a mess. This is what I have to work with. He taps a nearby server stack, which bleeps in response. This is my treasure trove, all dredged up from this sea of systems we call the eye. You wouldn't believe what this place runs on. Probably runs on COBOL. Uh, steps over to a towering block, speckled with vents. Some of these systems are from the original station, E1, uh, the one Solheim built. Actually, don't know, uh... I'm familiar with this symbol, but I don't actually know how to, like, reference it. We've had to invent new components, repair things we've never built, reverse engineer entire subsystems into existence. Residents here look up at the eye and think they are seeing a constant, a concrete reality. This place is a growing, is a system in constant flux, decaying and growing, collapsing into new configurations. Nice callback. <laughs> Uh, he walks down between the hardware stacks and you follow. We are keeping this place alive, but also remaking it into something new, dragging it away from these corporate origins. He stops. At least that's what I'm trying to do. He turns back to face you among the flickering machines. They hum all around you. I know you can see this too, sleeper. All these systems and sections. You can, can't you? I can. This It makes sense, right? You're between here and there, between the people and their systems. You light this place up like a beacon. That's what I need. You glance at the lights around you, and as you do, they seem to flicker, to realign, to follow your gaze. Fang notices it too. I'm guessing being a beacon isn't always ideal when you're on the run, though. They're tracking me. He pats you on the shoulder. Maybe I can help with that. There's a lot of old growth in this place. Subsystems I can't see. Access protocols lost to time and decay. Secrets. A poop load of secrets. With your help, I can unlock this place. Break off those last ghost limbs of corporate control. He lowers his voice below the hum. Even in Havenage, there is old growth. Those whose roots trace back into those bad old days. You help me dredge up the past, and I'll see what I can do about that tracker of yours. He winks. What do you say, sleeper? I'm in. Thought about it. I'm in. Fang pumps his fist and claps you on the shoulder. He meets your eye. You won't regret it, sleeper. Fang passes you a, rag, a ragged-looking metal tab. A gift, he smiles. It's a Solheim cipher. I dug it up from the depths of the station. Slot that into an old network gate, and you'll be able to put out all kinds of secrets from the nodes inside. He walks you back to the front of the bay. Start by bringing me whatever you can turn up. Use that emulated mind of yours and see what's there. Let's get a picture of how things are. Those above, he nods at the ceiling, have granted me an acquisitions budget. I can pay you for whatever useful data you bring in. I know you need it. 
He slams the door button again. Keep it quiet and keep it clean, sleeper, and I'll see you soon. You step blinking back onto the passage. This flickering light's still in the back of your mind. Excuse me. All right, so I, I actually do know what to do with that. Uh, a Solheim Cypher is here. What's this red one? Hunter Nest? I actually have it too. I could do that. You recognize some of the data tangled in this nest. Is this a partial log of your recent movements? Uh-oh. Okay, I'll do that, but there's also a Solheim Cypher that I can use. That was on one of these. I'll probably do that one next. Was it under... It's under the Solheim gate. Solheim Cypher, let's do it. Gate conceals a network of systems which have been untouched since the Solheim collapse. All right. Gate S7 access. With a squawk of noise, the old gate flips open, granting access. Okay, look at that. Three other Solheim nodes now. Nails, hello, hello, welcome in. How are you doing today? Are you uh, are you familiar with Citizen Sleeper? You need a one for this one. I mean, lots of ones in here. So this is this is basically what you want to do with your ones. It seems like so they're not very uh, very nice otherwise. We have a one, a two, and a four. Okay, I actually have. I have three fours. I could spare one of those. Network storage holds corporate records, most of them corrupted by a failed system purge. I think I'm going to go ahead and throw one on here. I've got three of them to spare, or three of them total. I can spare one. Okay, and I'm groggy, and no, that's what brought me here. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Groggy, though, I can, uh, I can relate. I can relate. <laughs> So did your day just start? All right. Data extracted. I got a Solheim data. All right. Uh, and I'll bring that to Fang at some point here. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, hopefully it's a great day for you, Nails. One sec. Not a problem. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll be here. Um, do I do these? Erlen's Eye Resonance. I'm, I'm going to take, should I take the other one first? These are all twos. This is a one. Okay. This nest is a tangle of algor algorithms recursively generating possible Solheim communication codes. Okay. Let's take this first one. It said, is this a partial log of your movements? Let's do this. Should be Hunter Data, right? Added Hunter Data. Okay. Welcome back, Nails. I had a message. All good. All good. All right. So these then I can take this up to the vending machine or do I need all of them? Let's see. Where's the vending? Uh, help Fang chase his leads. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Where's this at again? Free Neovent. Okay. Extract hunter data for Neovent. Okay. How many of these do I, well, I think I need. Let's find out. Let's go back to, can I go back to Neovent? This scrap freighter. Wait a minute. I do have a, oh, okay, I need three pieces. Yeah, so, okay, so I need all of them. We'll go ahead and do this, though. Uploaded one piece of hunter data. Doesn't really matter if I do it all at once, it seems like, or not. Scrap freighter, okay. Buy some scrap. Most of what comes in from the Star Wars belt is corroded trash, but sometimes something valuable can be found among the salvage. Okay. I can't use too much cryo because I, I have to eat, so. On your phone, all good. Thanks, hope your day was good too. And Cole, thank you. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. Doing pretty well, Nails. Uh, so far, I've been really enjoying this game. This game just came out last week, uh, Citizen Sleeper. It is a kind of a, it's almost like a, 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 a an RP, like a tabletop RPG type game. It's It's been a lot of fun. Uh, it's, it's, it's very, uh, it's almost like a novel too. Uh, very descriptive. Um, I don't know, it's just very cool. But otherwise, even outside of games, doing well. Glad you are enjoying it. Absolutely, absolutely. 
I definitely recommend it. Uh, it came, it came out, like I said, it was a week ago today. Um, and it is on, uh, it's on Game Pass. I'm playing it via Game Pass. So, um, but there, you know, you don't have to play it on Game Pass. There are other platforms. Um, okay. Doc C4. Uh, I did kind of want to help out with Ambergris. I also feel like there's more to explore here in the market. I still need one more. This is risky. Okay. Yeah, which means this is probably... Hmm. 75% of a decent outcome, right? Let's try it. Nice, we got it. Okay. Got the local the local knowledge I needed. So it should unlock a new place for me? Or exchange? Hardware exchange. Okay. What's this here? I can sell scrap components. I can also do this. I can input dice. Okay. Flow of chits and components in the exchange is complex, but a sharp eye and some tight trades can net you a good margin. Oh, interesting. Okay. And both of those add to this trusted traders. Old ship mine fabrication stack in the back of the market, but only trusted traders get access to it. Ooh, okay. Let's see. Do I do this? What if I do this? Hang on a second. Let's take a look at what other things I can do before I do that. Emphis, though. I don't need fungus currently. I do want to do that at some point, though. I think I want to take my time on it. Was there something I can do with dice here? No, I just need cryo. Okay, which I don't have. I don't have enough cryo for that. Maybe I go back to Dragos's yard. Talk to Fang. He, he needs three pieces of this uh, Solheim data. But it says he's going to pay me. I got 15 cryo. Okay, 15 cryo. That's not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. Have I done anything for the shipyard yet? I need a shipbuilder to notice them. You might be in. Okay. Man, there's a lot. I mean, that's a lot of... Hmm. Danger here. I don't know usually play games like these um not exactly like this uh i do I, I tend to to play narrative games uh and this one definitely is a narrative game um do play a lot of rpgs uh so some of the other games i've been playing recently uh been playing fallout new vegas um but some of the other games we've played uh on the stream uh valheim uh was one I played a lot of, played Stardew Valley, Subnautica, um, have been some of my favorites, Raft, uh, so yeah. Have a Starch game. Yeah, so, um, variety, mostly variety, but, um, but, but I tried, like I said, I try to stick to sort of the narrative aspect of, uh, you know, games. So, uh, which this one definitely fits the bill. Uh, another one I played recently that doesn't really fit that is Loot River, because uh, that's another game that just came out. That one's pretty cool, though. I like that. It was an interesting... Uh, it's almost like there's a Tetris aspect of the game, which is pretty interesting. 41 Cryo. I kind of want to try it. Because I still have enough for food if I need it, so let's try this. Oh wait, this is buying scrap. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, hang on a second. Uh, that's not what I meant. Uh, was that the the new place? Yeah, the exchange. Yeah, this is what I wanted to do. Oh, but this is for dice. Okay, let's try it though. Let's try it out. Nice. Okay, we got a positive outcome. Uh, only twenty five percent chance of that happening, but it happened. You snap up uh, scrap by weight, then parcel it off to traders uh, with a nice markup. You start to get a sense of the traders to trust. Okay. So, and I got, was it like 19 cryo? Yeah, 19 cryo for that too. Okay. So then maybe I'll buy some scrap on this one to test it out. I have one more dice I can use. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a, a countdown. Okay, got it. 
So I got one piece of a ship mine fragment. Could we reassemble the right tools and a few more fragments? Okay. Do I like Telltales? Uh, I do. I do like the Telltale games. Um, I have not played any on stream, though, actually. I've only ever played those, uh, you know, just IRL. I do like those games. Um, like Life is Strange would kind of be another a similar a game in a similar vein. I do like those. So my friend that was venting to me about her boyfriend told me last night that they broke up on their one year anniversary of dating. I'm just like, oh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, what more can you do, you know? Um, do you, are you... So do you think it's going to be... Oh, shoot, I forgot. I need 100 cryo for these stabilizers. Okay. Oh, I could have bought the... I could have bought Passage here. Shoot, I wonder if I should have done that instead. Ah, nah, that's fine. I do need 10 for this. I want to keep getting five dice, if at all possible. That'll give me full energy. Breakups are hard. They are hard, yeah, definitely. Um, this person, though, in particular, uh, Peachy's been trying to convince her to break up. Okay, so he gave me, he, he paid me for it, but I haven't, there's nothing else I can do. Okay, shipyard then. Engineer plus one. Did I, I think I did that one already, didn't I? I think I'll probably end up using this on uh, Dragos's yard because this is a safe one here forensic trawl winter light the wreck cutter dragos is brought into salvage has a history to discover if you're curious there's no negative like the negatives are just basically a little loss of you know, something not that big a deal and again what does this do over here Still have that too Breaking is tougher than the slicing up loose salvage, but Dragos is happy to pay you a fixed wage if you are up to it. Okay, this is for yard clearance. Okay. I don't know, let's try this one instead, actually. My engineer plus one, I'm gonna give it a shot. Please, I've been having good luck today, and... Oh, check it out. Perfect, we got a little cryo from that. All right, and that's all the dice I've got. So I think that's gonna have to do it for this cycle. Told her he just isn't a commitment type guy, which is fine for him, and she needs to find a guy who's better suited for her. Yeah, I guess she likes him right, and it isn't returned, or at least not in the same way. She's like, I just wish he hadn't wasted a year of being in, in me and my daughter's life. Like, I guess this guy stayed at her house four days a week and didn't offer to pay any portion of bills. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that is kind of shady, you could say. Is there, I wonder if there's going to be a point in time in the near future where I will be able to reduce the energy uh, subtraction here or condition for that matter. I don't know. Maybe not though. Let's get some good rolls here. Give me some good rolls game. Oh, a six of five. Okay. Two fours and a three. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right. The uh, problem is I didn't get any like ones or twos, so I'm not gonna be able to do much in the uh, with the hunter stuff. But we're gonna have great successes today, though. Uh, let's see. Oh, I was gonna check out the ambergris. I didn't. I didn't actually do anything over here last time. So rewire drones. Why is this locked? Amber hole repairs. I could use my five on this guaranteed to work then, right? Uh, what if I do a four? Is that a 75? Oh, that's 50, 50. Okay. But it's still neutral. Neutral is not bad here. Okay. Grounded and ship shape. Okay. She did pay me before, but she paid me two, like literally two cryo, which is not much. I need 10 cryo a day just to have full energy. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, not much at all. Um, let me double check here. I don't think there's anything I can do in this mode. Okay, we need a two. We need a one. This is really only useful on bad roll days. One. 
One. Two. I do have a three, so if any of them needed a three, I could do that, but that's the lowest I've got. One. Uh, yeah, okay. Ones and twos, that's it. That's it. I feel like I missed quite a bit of this game. Are you, are you enjoying it? I sure am. Yeah, I sure am. Uh, it's It's got a good... Uh, it's There's a good mystery going on right now, so I'm hoping I can figure some stuff out. Uh, this is scrap component. But I have a ship mine fragment. That's not, this, that's not scrap, right? Okay. I feel like I should probably do something here, though. Maybe I'll do... Let's see. Is this... Yeah, 25% negative. Okay. I'm going to leave... Where was my plus one at? Was that here? And no. Uh, Doc C4. That one I don't have anything to do with. Yeah. Uh, Ambergris is plus one here. Okay. What happens if I... I actually don't know. This is a plus one, uh, an engineer task. My perk is... Don't I get cryo every time or... Oh, I, I have a chance to gain random scrap item on uh, on engineer action. Okay. So that is an engineer action. Uh, isn't there an engineer action here too? Yes, that as well. Okay. And Dragos. Up with some of Dragos's uh, dealios. Okay. Just so many things. It's hard for me to choose what I want to do. This one's also engineer. See, I kind of want to try this one too, though. There's a lot of pieces I have to get. Let's try this. Hopefully, I get a random item. Two on yard hand. I got five cryo for whatever that's worth. Okay. Yeah. What's this one do? 100%. Assist a shipbuilder. I mean, I do need to escape. I do need to escape. And tourists here. Okay. Can I try a four. Plus one on yard hand. It was a neutral action. Okay. Um. All right. I'm gonna throw the three here into forensic trawl. I got a scrap item. Check that out. Useful salvage to the right person. Perfect. Okay. This is the first time I'll actually be able to sell some scrap. Um, scrap. What do I get for scrap? Hopefully a lot of cryo. 12 cryo and plus one trusted trade. Okay. So not much, but that'll at least be enough to feed me on this fine day. That's good. Uh, we'll go... I guess I'll go ahead and do that. I do like having five, five dice every day. I do like that. I'm just offered to pay our rent here one more month so we could have all of June to get the new house ready. Oh, what a, what a, what a peach. What an absolute peach of a person. That's very kind. That's what moms are for. Goodness. Was, uh, it, it wasn't like the option to like if you had to move out you move into her place right no we don't want you to live here so we'll pay your rent <laughs> that's what my mom would do uh, no you don't need to live here i'll just go ahead and help out with your rent no I, my mom wouldn't do that either but it's just that's be be kind of funny it would not surprise me my mom's kind of blunt sometimes like that Um, what do I want to use a guaranteed success on? That's the thing. That's tough. Like, I have not had very many six sixes rolled in this game. So I want to use it on something I feel like is really worthwhile. Mm, unloading containers. Okay. They'll pay a wage anyone willing to help them. Okay, maybe I try this one then. Try this one. It's a danger, so... uh Guaranteed to get some money out of this. I don't know how much. Let's find out. 15 cryo. 
Wait, that added two energy? They gave me a meal. Oh goodness. So I didn't even have to buy a meal this time around. Well shucks. I should I should make buying a meal the last thing I do. That would be that would make sense now that I know I can do that. Okay. No, no, we wouldn't do that to her. She stays with her mother-in-law and she's going through severe Alzheimer's or dementia, so it doesn't make living there easy. Oh. Uh, wait, her mother-in-law is? Realtor did say we could stay at the home before the CFO was issued and we wouldn't be arrested, but she wouldn't recommend doing that. <laughs> I don't know. I, it seems like a cool little game there to play. Uh, okay, I think I'll do that. I, I feel like maybe I'm maybe I'm splitting these two up too much. Maybe I should just focus on one or two. But I kind of kind of want to see everything here. Hip shape Got plus two there. Okay. Got all of those done. And again, I don't think that there's anything I can do. Let's see, I do have a ship mine fragment. I don't really know what to do with that. I feel like I'm gonna have to take that to a shipbuilder or maybe the, the Ambergris, but we'll have to find out later. I am one, two, three, four, five turns away from the hunter getting here, and that is kind of a scary thought. Kind of a scary thought. Hopefully it doesn't murder me, like, immediately. My grandma has severe Alzheimer's or dementia, not sure which, so my mom doesn't want the girls to stay there overnight. Oh, dang. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. That's that's a tough, tough deal for sure. Very tough. Um, did roll a one. Should probably use that. Do it on hunter nests, though. I think I need one here yeah do that hunter nest or do i do solheim solheim i get paid for immediately i think i'm gonna do that actually oh a hunter just wow okay a glimmer in the dark catches your eyes the orb of hunter's head appears in the distance it is looking for you uh can't hide. It, it said that earlier. I'm going to run. You turn away and glide back into the cloud, threads of data rushing past. Another glimmer catches your eye. Closer now, that roving orb wreathed in tentacles. It flickers, jumps once, twice, and then it is here. Hunter is here. Entity, submit to inquiry. Hunter reaches for you in that unpleasantly familiar way. It's waving threads creating a cage. Gosh dang it. What's going on, Kirk? Hello, gorgeous. Hello to you. Beautiful. How you doing today? Fortunately, I, I might get caught by this hunter. Struggle. You push against the threads as they close in, becoming frenzied as you push them aside. You are caught by whipping tendrils and feel them pulling you away from the anchor of your body. You push through, clearing the threads. Entity, hold for processing. Comes the scream from behind, but you are already gliding away back to your anchor, your body. You wake dizzy, distorted, but safe. You made it out. Okay. Yeah, because I... Uh, somebody already told me, they're like, you... Uh, the, it was the vending machine. The vending machine was like, yeah, you can't hide in that place. So I didn't want to even try. I just tried to run away. All right. Back sucks. I'm good overall on day two uh, of my three-day weekend. How are you and how is chat? Well, dude, I'm sorry to hear about your back. Day two of my three-day weekend, though. That sound, that part sounds nice. Um, you be playing lots of games today. Uh, I'm doing well. Just things have been real busy is all. And, you know, as usual during the spring. Uh, very, very busy. But uh, but it's been good. It's been a good, rewarding busy. Um, but yeah. I think chat overall is doing well. But I'll let chat for, speak for themselves. Um, should I do that? It's only going to leave eight cryo then. I'm not going to buy a meal until the very end of the day, if at all possible. It's starting to flicker, apparently. My health flickering a little bit. What does this do here? Offloading scrap. Freighter will stay docked for as many cycles as it takes to offload its haul of scrap into the Havenage Yards. Okay. I can do this one here. The danger, 50% positive, 50% neutral. Okay, I like that. But also, I, I could use that on a... Uh, they did They did good for me last time. Ambergris. It's risky, but a five makes it a guaranteed success. This one here. 
Plus two for ship shape. I'm now, uh, it looks like another four away. Okay. okay. Hmm. Five. Is this one still can't get a... Okay, there's no negative for that one either. I should use fours on it so with the engineer actions. Maybe I can also get a random scrap again. Plus one. Okay, so that was neutral. Do another four. I, I, I'm i going to try to focus on just, like... I need to focus on some missions instead of trying to do a little bit of all of them right off the bat. So do I use the five right away? I don't think I will. I think I'll do this. This will be a guaranteed success. It should fill up this meter now. Perfect. I can't mainly Final Fantasy 12, but I'll throw in some other games as well at some point. Gotcha. Sounds good, dude. Overall, can't complain too much. I think my youngest gave me her cold, so I'm trying to rest a bit today and be done with it soon. I mean, something's going around. I've had, uh, so today is our conference meet, which is a big meet for our team. I've had two, two boys reach out to me saying they're sick and can't come tonight. I'm like, bang, okay. Yeah, there's something going around. Talk to Ankita. Ankita is crouched in the computing core of the Ambergris, swearing to herself when you enter. She doesn't look up. These poops completely ruined the core's connectors when they cut it. She holds up a thick fistful of ragged wires. The ship mine they ripped won't even be useful without usable without replacing these. She throws the bundle of wires across the room. Amateurs. And we repair it. There's nothing to repair. We need an entire ship mine. Not exactly the first thing you can expect to dredge up from a scrap freighter. She sighs. Fragments, maybe. Sections of a mine, but a complete ship mine? No way. I have, I have a fragment, right? Yeah, I have a fragment. Ankita climbs out of the cooling well where the ship mine should be. The space suddenly crowded with her on the same level as you, towering over you as she stoops beneath the low curved ceiling. Come on, nothing to be done here now. She leads you back through the guts of amber, though you could find the way back yourself. The repair process has left you familiar with the cutter's idiosyncratic layout, all diagonal angles and bundled tubes. I hope you feel good vibes indeed. Sure, it's just the weather. Cold to warm to hot to cold, yeah. Gotta love it. Yeah. I, uh, just, could we get a night? Like, I just want a spring season, you know what I mean? Spring and fall. I just, I don't want, I don't like the going from one extreme to the other. I love spring and I love fall when we can just get, you know, seasonal appropriate temperatures, you know? Uh, let's see. What do we do now? Ankita seems lost in thought and you focus on the corridors, ducking below conduits and passing through bulkheads. Eventually you arrive in the galley, though it's hard to tell. Most of the benches and prep surfaces are covered in half-stripped components and welded hole patches. Ankita shoves a box of filters to the floor and sits. There's no way around it. She starts out of nowhere. We need a new ship mind. I can salvage one. I like your confidence, sleeper. Maybe if we check the ort exchange or speak to some scrap dealers. She rubs her forehead. It seems I'm about to do something very stupid, but hey, I came here, didn't I? Why not make a run of it? She fixes you with a hard stare. Sleeper, you're all I've got. No crew, no friends, you're it. Wait, we're not friends? That's sad. She looks uncomfortable. I appreciate the time you've put in on Amber, and I'm sure she would too, if she could. What I'm saying is if you screw me on this, I will kill you. She leans over and hands you a stack of chits. A big stack of chits. You don't dare to count them. Give me that shit mine, Sleeper. Don't make me regret this. You won't. She sighs, look, just get out of here before I change my mind. You slip out of the galley and head back towards the main dock, main lock. As you do, Amber growls and creaks like a caged animal. You reach a hand out to calm her. Time to find Ankita ship mine, somehow. Oh, she gave me a hundred? A hundred cryo? Okay, hang on a second, do I use? It has to be a full ship mine, okay. Better make sure to deliver, yeah, no kidding. Give me a hundred freaking cryo here. Uh, okay, so the scrap freighter. I can only do this so many times. Otherwise, I have to unload containers. Uh, actually, that's not, that doesn't even really do it. Cycle clock, offloading scrap. So this is going to be, this is going to disappear here really soon. Okay, let me try doing this. Got a random scrap item. Okay. Uh, this is only going to be here one more day, so I think I'll go ahead and do it again. Okay, got another random scrap item. Okay. 
Well, all right, that's it for that. I mean, I can at least sell those, thankfully. Um, so we'll go to the Ort Exchange and sell my scrap components. Then eventually I'll need to play the exchange because I can actually get fragments there. Then I need to figure out how I'm going to put together an entire dealio, but... 12 cryo. Oh, this adds up for Trusted Trader. Okay. So actually you'll have a full Trusted Trader after this. Old ship mine fabrication stack. Okay, so that's actually what I need then. This is perfect. I didn't realize. Getting some cryo back in the process. Can't believe we're still getting temps in the upper 50s to lower 60s in the early mornings in Florida in May. <laughs> it, it's, it's unreal. It is unreal what is going on here. Uh, yeah, it's going to be 90 degrees today here. It's like stupid. Stupid. I need three of these ship mines. Okay. Three ship mines. That's what I figured based on that image. Okay. Another thing I could do, I could buy a passage into the low end gate. I just don't know what that does. But the only other thing I can do is buy a meal. So I maybe I should just do it. Supposed to get like 86 here, might as well be 90. Right, yeah. Yesterday it was 90. It actually touched 90. Uh, it's just tough. I, no time to acclimate because it was, I mean, just this past weekend, it was in the 50s and 60s, you know? It's like, uh, it's tough. It's tough because I would really like to be able to acclimate myself to the weather. Uh, my, same for my track kids, too. It's just, it's tough. It's really, your body, your bodies need some time to acclimate, you know? All right, low, at, low end access unlocked. So what does this get me now? Oh, more station. There's actually three things. Founder's Gap, Gap in the Ring Station. I'm going to go here. This is showing cryo. Pay for passage. To reach the Greenway, you need to pay for a pass. A practice invented by the Spacers moored here. They call it Founder's Ferry. So there's even more ship to discover. Okay. I don't have that. No. Towering Transit Hub. Okay. These I need dice for. The spoke is layer after layer after layer of dense urban fabric. The only way to explore it is vertically. Okay. So this game is deeper than you think. Play Tavla. The clack of filter caps can be heard in every concourse in the low end as this resident as the residents play rotating rounds of this game for cryo. And then block maintenance. Maintained by the residents, the ramshackle blocks are always in need of repairs. Helping out is a good way to make friends. Huh. Okay. Alright, I think that's all I can do other than just buying some food. Uh now that I have a little bit more cryo though, I might actually do some fungus so I can hopefully start to get uh Emphasis on my side here. I do feel like it's it's a good idea though uh, to focus on one task instead of trying to do all of them. So fix the ambergris. So ship mind. Um, I need to figure out. So I yeah, the gathering the three ship mind fragments. If I track this one, does it show me where to get those from? There's only shows it shows me the fabric. No, no, it shows me where to get them from. Okay, perfect. That is perfect. So the problem is that might be gone tomorrow. It might actually be there tomorrow, but then gone the next day. And then this one, see, does it tell me? I just don't know if unloading containers is going to get that to me. So I'm willing to pay to anyone willing to help them. Okay. So I just get money for that. I think the only way you can buy, like I could find the ship mine is by buying the scrap. Okay. So then there's that. And then this one here has not arrived yet. Okay. Right. So I might be, might just be on pause for this. Okay. So maybe I do, while I'm waiting, disable my tracker. I think Chase's leads. Yeah, I need, so I need that. That would be really good. Uh, that is the 
Solheim data. Oh, which I never turned in. I'm dumb. Okay. I need to do that. I'll get I'll get a little bit mo uh, more money for that too. Solheim data. Doo -doo -doo. Right there. Got 15 more. Okay. So there's only one more. And what do I need to roll for that? A one? A two. Okay. So we'll try to hope for a two this time around. Hope for a two. Try to disable the tracker. We got a two. Check it out. Why do I only get four dice, though? I had full energy. I had more than full energy. Oh, maybe... Be oh, because of the flickering. Gosh, dang it. Okay. Okay. So I don't even need to buy any food this cycle. Really? Thankfully, no 50s here in South Florida? Uh, not even, what, what, what temperature, what is the lowest temperature you get, comma, like in the morning or overnight or anything? Like, what's the lowest, absolute lowest temperature? Yeah, okay, I can unload here. I've got a five, so I can guarantee success on a few things if I pick an engineering task. Uh, but I said I was going to use that two first. We're going to go to the Solheim node, use the two. Morning, uh, it says the min was 68. Gotcha. Okay, this morning, yeah. Okay, so 68. Honestly, ours might not have been too much cooler last night either. All right, there we go. Let's check out what Fang's got for us here. As you enter the bay, Fang is nowhere to be seen. The banks, wait, wait, he's right there. <laughs> The banks of servers and machines blink out of the dark in staccato rhythms, unseeing eyes of the station's digital ghosts. Poop heads, Fang's voice echoes from behind a stack, followed by the hammer of a fist on a metal casing. These snaky poop heads. Who's snaky? Sleeper, Fang's smiling head pops up from behind a stack. Just the emulated consciousness I have been eager to see. Come back here. You pick your way between the thrumming stacks, trying not to trip on the loose bundles of cables that blanket the dark floor. Fang is sat in front of a set of monitors mounted to a stack. Tell me, sleeper, what do you see here? Fang waves at a monitor to his side, glowing with pale lists of information. You lean in closer, looking for links in the data. The tables seem to be filled with personal information, names, genders, dates, ID numbers, all the markers of institutional records. People. People, yes, but whose people? Uh-oh. Uh, Solheim? Bingo. I guessed right. He taps the terminal. I pulled these from the old data you brought in. All employees of the Eye's original owners. And he leans past you and scrolls the list down. This one, this is a snaky poop head. He stabs the screen with a finger. The name reads Harden Hurst. Who's Harden? That, says Fang, giving you a sideways look, is the thing. He drags a stool out beside him and motions for you to sit. There just so happens to be a Harden Hurst in Havenage. He waits for your reaction. Are you sure? Well, that's where you might be able to help me. Fang leans back in his chair. Just think about it. Decades ago, Harden worked on this station as a... Fang leans across to look at the monitor. Senior Strategic Operations Executive. Fang raises his eyebrows at you. Our Harden was keeping the money coming in for Solheim. He defined priority growth initiatives by making sure the extractors they contacted contracted out were hooked into a system that outscored, outsourced all the risk and kept the profit. Good old Harden shuttled thousands of palladium-rich rush... Palladium rush workers into an infrastructure which meant that their cut of the work they did went straight back into Solheim. How do you know this? Don't think I'm going to have much motivation to do anything today. I, I feel like I'm going to be in the same boat. I grew up here, sleeper. This is my history. I'm a child of the collapse. Fang turns back to his screen, staring hard at the strings of code flickering by. Before I was born, my parents were Solheim contractors. They ate in Solheim canteens, worked on Solheim ships. They breathed Solheim air and slept in Solheim beds. Fang's voice rises as he speaks, his hands fists his hands fists on the terminal edge. And the work that paid for that existence? The cycles of hard extraction out in the belt? Solheim took their cut. This was a company town, so to speak, and my parents were just another in the long line of freelance contractors willing to risk their lives for a shot at anything other than poverty. Disposable. This guy, stabbing at Harden once again with his finger, strategized all that, did the sums, and then somehow, thousands and thousands of cycles later, is still going... Still here, crawling in the walls like some poop-head snake. 
He survived the res revolution. But how? These guys, they were big time. There's a lot money can get you if you're a company man. Bang, relax a little. But how is Harden still kicking? I really don't know. He turns to you and smiles, so we are going to find out. Harden is now a big shot in the shipyards, just a few degrees back around the eye from here. Fang brings up a map of the lower eye. Havenage might be born out of Erlen's revolutionary zeal, but a flat hierarchy it is not. Harden happened bloat to the top. Fang zooms in on the, on the far yards. Fang grimaces. The thing is, I don't have access to those systems. The shipyard crew is pretty paranoid, and they don't like anyone from systems digging around in their stuff. Plus, we need more than just the name of a Solheim executive. We need proof. Fang holds up a thumbnail-sized drive. That's where this little creation of mine comes in. I call it a ripper worm. He turns the drive between his fingers. It'll rip through any digital storage and spin out a silken thread of filtered data. This one is set on the scent of Harden Hurst. He hands it over. Getting into the comp compound might be tricky. Fang puts a hand on your shoulder, but you, however, have a particular knack for remote access. Fang grins. If you can extract yourself a Havenage cipher from a Havenage agent, they sometimes carry them among their data caches. Wait a minute, do I have that? I have two of those Havenage datas. Oh, not a cipher, though. Okay. They sometimes carry them among their data caches. You can crack open the compound's network and slot the worm in through any open open port. You never even need to go into the shipyards. So what do you say? Up for it? What's in it for me? Rooting out a corrupt snake, not enough? Find the inf information. I'll start work on that tracker of yours. Fang scratches his chin. Anything the worm gets, it'll send, uh, it'll send it back here. There's something wrong here, and I aim to get to the rotten core of it. You leave Fang digging through data among the wires and machines of the old station. As you walk out, you try to imagine the eye as it once was, a vast machine running smooth and strong, directed by people like Harden. A vast Solheim-built machine into which thousands poured from the surrogate systems, looking for a new life. The hope of a better future, engineered to line someone else's pockets. It's an idea you are intimately familiar with. You think of Harden still alive, still part of this place, and wonder if the past is ever truly past. Very poetic. Okay, so Havenage, probably a different spot, or no? Still the two hunters' nests. Are there other, oh, there are Yanagon agents up here. Okay. What do I need? I, I'm assuming all these are ones and twos still. Indeed, okay. Ones and twos, which I have none of. Uh, okay, shipyard though, I mean, I've got, I've gotten some here. Uh, only way to know the shipyard is work here, no tourists. Uh, all right. This one here, help Fang chase his leads, extract the past, hack a Havenage agent to get a cipher. Wait a minute. Was there a Havenage? That was a Havenage agent, wasn't it? One of these that I saw. Yeah, that right there. Okay. I need a two. So for the next cycle, look for a two. Ambergris. I need to find a ship mine. Uh, hunter data. I also need two. So if I get ones and twos, I'll use those. Let's see the winter light. Study the winter light. Um, that one was. Okay. I do need to find out how much a, st a bottle of stabilizer costs. I've not checked that yet. Hundred cryo. Jeez, I barely have enough for that. Okay. I'm not going to use that yet because I actually don't know how much it heals me. Uh, I don't want it to I'm not that injured. I got two thirds or more of my health. Probably have just about 75% of my health. Okay. I think what I want to do then. Winter light, I believe, is in this dock. Dragos's yard. Yeah, right here. So I have to do forensic trawling, which I'll use my threes on. Got a scrap out uh, item as well. Three there. And then I got to pick something to... Ah, plus one yard clearance. Wait a minute. Yard clearance. Oh, did it subtract one from my yard clearance? No oh, freaking A. I think it did. doing too bad uh oh one second though one second my friends hang on 
Okay, that's what I thought. Um, all right. Happy to pay you a fixed wage if you're up to it. Okay. A fixed wage? Wait a minute. Does that mean, like, if I fill this uh, up the yard clearance, does that mean that I get, like, I get money every day? That would be great. Is that how that's going to work? I don't want to, I, I, maybe I'm reading into that incorrectly. I don't, maybe I shouldn't assume that. I like chat is super slow today. Everyone's having a busy Thursday. Is it Thursday? Don't even know anymore. Uh, this game, I mean, this game is kind of a lurk friendly game too, you know? It's not really a, not really a game that, you know, I don't know. It's not a hype game. You know what I mean? Um, let's see. Pay for passage. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I can't even do it. I don't even have enough money. Scale the spoke or enter the spoke. That's any good or not. <clears throat> It is Thursday though. I know I keep feeling like it's Friday. I could buy this. I'm not gonna again, I'm not gonna do that till the end of the day though. Fabricator or exchange. Can sell a component. Okay. Should I do this? Play the exchange? It doesn't help with the progress of anything, so that's kind of why I'm I'm leaning towards no. Um. Hmm. This one's still here. What does a five do? Fifty fifty. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do that though. I'm gonna work on. Uh, let's work on one of these that's gonna actually give me some progress. Uh, ideally, something like this where it's a guaranteed good deal. Plus 16 and plus two yard clearance. Okay. Winter lights only on, uh, only on forensic trawl. Okay. All right. Got it. Good notes Thursday. Harley has a field trip today. Going to a farm. Doesn't get much more Midwest than that. What, uh, what is the purpose of going to the farm? Is there, are they doing like a tour of anything? Okay, so I got to try to get my tracker out. I feel like that's a really important one so that the hunters can't find me. I don't know if that matters, but uh, let's see. Disable the tracker. Help Bang chase his leads. Was that one the... I'm trying to figure out what Fang said. All right. I feel like I'm not doing enough, but at the same time, I don't know what else I can do. All right, got four dice, uh, a six, a five, and a couple twos. There we go. I think so. They'll get to feed animals, ride a horse, things like that. She was so nervous about the horse ride last night. She's afraid she's going to fall off of it, which is a very valid fear. Don't get me wrong. I feel like they'll, they're probably not going to let her do anything other than just walk the horse, right? Hopefully not. A merchant freighter, traveling merchants. Okay. We need a skill upgrade required. You and the merchants know these fragments are overpriced, but are they willing to admit it? You'll you'll get one chance to see. Uh, I can buy a ship mine fragment. I can buy two ship mine fragments. Look at that. The only thing is, okay, the fabricator. Okay, maybe I do want to focus on that though. That's going to use most of my cryo. I can't haggle, so they only sell me two, but that's all I need. All right, let's go build this. Let's go build this ship mind. Uh, right here. Work fabricator, three ship mine fragments. Give me that full ship mind. Go we'll take it to Amber, the Ambergris. Oh yeah, no, I told her there will be an adult who walks beside the horse and won't let her fall. Yeah. And I told her once she sees her friends do it, she'll want to do it too. Yeah, definitely. Horses are V cool. We have an actual ship mind core, my friends. Build a ship mind from fragment. I just got an achievement for that. So we'll go to the Ambergris. Input the ship mind core. 
All right, you drop the huge cylinder onto the mess room table and Kita can't hide her excitement. Let's see what's gonna happen now. Yes, my Thursday is busy, Peach. She just got back from my stand up and no more meetings day. Every day is usually busy for me, to, uh, for me today though. Wait, every day is usually busy for me today though? Like these days? Horses are cool unless you're riding them. Wait, you don't like riding horses? You drop the ship mine core onto the galley table with an emphatic bang. And Kita spins around from where she's been poring over some documents on her slate. Holy poop, sleeper. You actually land a ship mine? She rushes over and hefts the huge cylinder, turning it back and forth. Well, poop, it might actually work. She smiles wider than you've ever seen. Where did you get it? I built it. Built it? Well, well, you are full of surprises. Ankita bangs on the galley wall. Hear that, Amber? The sleeper got you a new ship mind. The sound echoes down the ship's passages. You have to admit, being in a small space with Ankita when she's this excited is a little intimidating. Ankita puts the ship mind back on the table. I'll start the process of fitting it as soon as I can. I might need your help with some of it. She heads back towards the counter to grab her slate. This isn't the only good news today, either. Looks like my good karma is finally coming in. She throws the slate onto the table and spins it so you can see the screen. Take a look at this. You see a list of names and numbers, nothing that exciting, along with what looks like a transit timetable. I found them. Found who? My crew, she points at a name on the list, or more specifically, Ashton Cade. It was his past that was used to access Amber and slice the ship mind. I thought he might have been killed or robbed, his past stolen, but it turns out he crossed the Founder's Gap the very next cycle. No one riding horses had a bad experience in the Grand Canyon. Really? What happened, Charles? Never ridden a horse either. Told Harley she could ride one and tell me how much fun they are. The girl's so competitive, so I figured if I told her I'd never done it, she'd feel like she's better than me. You've got, you've never ridden a horse? You've never gone horseback riding? That was always like the highlight of our vaca- like our family vacations was whenever we could go horseback riding. Um, also, like, uh, I think the last time, uh, Mrs. Magoots and I have done it twice at least together. We did it one time on our honeymoon uh, in, uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico. But then also, I think we, we did, we did do it at a state park too, but I'm trying to think, was there another time as well? Maybe another time in there that I'm just not thinking of, but yeah, no way. They're too tall for me. Not a big horse person. I don't know. Horses are just so cool. Um, no, it's fun. It's fun. I, I enjoyed it a lot. How do you know? I know where the Founders Gap is, so I didn't ask her about it. I know some of the crew over at the ferry. Old Mercs used to run in an outfit I worked I worked with. Saw them in the Overlook, and they mentioned they saw Ashton crossing. I checked the manifest, and there he was. Looks suspicious. He hasn't said a word since the theft, and anyone wanting to hide out might head to the Greenway and go to ground. She flexes. He won't get far, though. There's no real docks out there. Only a couple of jetties in the waste. Going after him? Not yet. First, I want to fit the ship mind. She pauses, but maybe you could help me out. Sure, how? It's like this. I head over there, especially in Amber. He'll spot me a mile off and go underground. He'll find a way to slip the station or he'll, or he'll bury himself so deep in the waste no one will ever find him. But you, Ashen doesn't know you. All I need is for you to go there and sniff around. Not at the commune, not the stacks. He will have gone to the edges, the margins, the wild places. That's where Ashton likes. You see him? He you locate him? Ping me on this. She hands you a calm earpiece. Seeing as this is Merc work, I'll be happy to give you Merc pay. She shifts in her seat. The thing is, I haven't got much left, so how about I tell the boys who run the ferry to give you a discount? I know it's not much, but once I grab this coward, I'll pay up. 200 cryo, nothing less. What do you say? Okay. She gives you a heavy whack on the shoulder. Good. I owe you. She lifts the ship mine up on her shoulder with worrying ease. <laughs> I'm going to go get this fitted into Amber's core. You get any info, any sense of where Ashton is hiding, let me know. She goes to turn and then stops. And once again, sleeper, thank you. I appreciate it. Ankita stomps off into the guts of Amber with the ship mine, leaving you in the galley. You glance around, a sudden nervous energy descending at what is to come. You never thought you'd get work as a mercenary, but then again, it seems the eye is full of surprises. It's funny. The, the sleeper's all worried, like, man, she's really strong. Uh, <laughs> but then it's like... Wow, she's so strong, and now I'm chasing after somebody that, you know, for her. I don't know, seems like a little bit of a... Seems a little sus. Horse kept lagging behind the others and then running to catch up. We rode from to up top to the bottom, and those trails are narrow, so V scary when the horse is running on a narrow path with a 100-foot near vertical drop. Horses are surprisingly smart, though, too, though, you know? Horse actually tripped at the bottom. I went over its head. Fortunately, it was at the bottom of the canyon, just noped out on the ride back up. Wow. 
it tripped and you went over its head. So you you actually went down. Wow. Just noped out on the ride back up the next day. Wow. That's not yeah, that 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 makes sense though for sure, Charles. Like that That's traumatic, definitely. Carly asked if the horse would run when she's on it, told her no it wouldn't. She goes, Oh, horses only run when cowboys ride them? I said, sure. <laughs> Yeah, don't blame you at all for that. Yeah, that that's that's traumatic, definitely. I have been on a horse that trots. Uh, never really truly ran a horse. So does it give me a discount here? Cryo, that is that's a decent discount. The problem is I only have twenty seven cryo now because I bought her that ship mind. So I have to build back up, and I don't have a whole lot of time. Okay, we're gonna go into the. Let's see. So it was the. Uh, Solheim, or was it the, I got a keynote for encrypted data. Uh, where'd the Havenage agent go? Was it this? Havenage agent, yes. Okay. Ripper worm. Where do I need to put the ripper worm at again? I don't remember. It's not showing me a ripper worm area. Was it? Horse almost fell on me. The horse got up and looked at me like I was the idiot. They're so judgmental. How rude. How how do you think it tripped? Was there a rock or like or something? What do you what do you think caused that? Because it's not. Uh, I mean, because it it if it fell, like that's <clears throat> that's kind of surprising. I mean, horses don't really fall very easily, you know. Most most things with oh it's this right here okay needs uh wait what is this have an inch cipher okay have an inch cipher is it this where do I put the ripper worm at I need a two here have an inch agent I have to get the cipher though from one of these agents. Okay, that gave me a cipher and data. Interesting, okay. What am I supposed to do with this data though? Throw a tie across the path uh, as a step down and it caught its front hoof on that, wow. Yeah, yeah, most, I mean, a lot of four-legged creatures, they're tough to trip up like entirely. That That is definitely very scary. Okay, uh, so I can use the Ripper Worm, I guess? I can start with this on the Cypher. On Cypher. Okay, gate flips. You are in. Avenage port H33. This is where the Ripper Worm... Open war uh, port sits waiting for you to slot in a Ripper Worm. What will, you, what will it find in there? Don't know. Let's find out. Shipyard server slotted. Worm slots in and begins tunneling down a thread. Godspeed, little one. True. Wait. Action unavailable. Am I going to need another ripper worm? A second. It's probably going to be something, uh, well, I mean, not in hunter view. Here's Fangs Bay. Oh, and he's got a cycle, like a cycle clock started. Okay. Takes three cycles. Crap. Okay. Well, and I only have two before this hunter gets here, so that might be a problem. I uh, would have told that horse he's lucky I don't turn him into glue, honestly. <laughs> turn him into glue. Okay. I got to use my dice. What the heck am I going to do then? Uh, I do have another two. Uh, shoot. Maybe I should have done the... Maybe I should have done the uh, Neoven stuff. Okay. I can do that too. I have another two. There's two hunter nests. Yeah. Did I have, was it two twos? No, it's a one. Okay, so I couldn't have done it anyway. Maybe I'll roll a one tomorrow 
I only have two days to, to try to do something against this here. I'm going to put the hunter data in there. One more. I feel like it's not going to be an instant fix, though. That's the only problem. Okay. I'm a five and a six now. Figure out what I want to use that on. Winter light is one of the other ones in here, too. Uh, I can't do anything with that. Yeah, that one's that one's on pause right now. It's also on pause. Track Ashton. I don't have enough cryo for that. Can't do a uh, Neoven here. I can eat an emphasis stall, which I'm going to do, but that'll be the last thing I do for the day. Uh, investigate the wreckage. And of course, yeah, I could buy a stabilizer. Actually, I can't because I don't have any money. So none of these drives I can actually do other than winter light and yard clearance. I think I'll use a six over here. Put the five over there. Okay. Or let's see, is this a 75? 50 50? Okay. Okay, but you may find answers. Okay. This one, though, I can also earn a little bit of money. You know, I have a chance of getting some salvage plus yard clearance. Try this 16 cryo. Okay. All right, let's go eat at Emphasis Stall. Okay, I need to do that one more time to get Emphis to be a friend of mine. Right. I should get four dice tomorrow. I need a one. I need a one, my friends. Fingers crossed. One, one, one die. Better believe if I was at the top of the trail of the Grand Canyon and a horse threw me off, I'd hold on and bring that horse down with me. Oh, gosh. Just glad that fall didn't happen. We were actually on a trail further up. What, what was a railroad tie doing there, though? I did say that one of the straps on the saddle broke and caused the saddle to move too far forward. Not sure when that happened, so maybe that could have been why the horse was lagging behind from the start. Who knows? Yeah. yeah. So what was a railroad tie doing there? I did not get a one. And somehow, okay, so my health dropped below, so I didn't get... It's annoying. I should have had four dice. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I have to find out how to get some cryo, though. Okay. Yeah, that's a problem. The hunter is going to be here. Probably going to hurt my health. Uh, and I'm already just barely over half. Okay. Was there anything else to explore in the market? Or did I... No, that's it. Okay. Fabricator, word exchange. Can I sell a ship mine fragment? Going down, horse, you're coming with me. I think it was there as part of erosion control. Oh, huh. Interesting. Whip, whip, whip. Um, I don't know what to do. I can't, I can't afford anything. I feel like I have to, I have to just kind of hope I get lucky over here. Um, put a four over on this one. Just try to get one of these other ones to actually work for me. A okay, neutral outcome there. If I can get one more. But I also it'd be nice to have something over here. Give me a positive, baby. Neutral. Dang it. Okay, what does this one do? I feel like I got to do this one. I got to. I need money. I need money. There we go. We got a neutral. We got some money. Now yard clearance is full for whatever that's worth. No, in my luck, I'd survive the fall of the horse would land on me. How'd she pass? Horse fell on her from the sky. It's the dangest thing, right? Got me wanting to go horseback riding now. I know. I'm sort of like, I kind of want to get on a horse. Oh, it's always been a good time. But, I don't know. Maybe it's just been luck. I will say I've never been, uh, I've never been horseback riding anywhere that I feel like was too dangerous like that. Like the Grand Canyon. But if 
Final pieces of the winter light sit in neat piles waiting for the collection shuttle from Havenage. Dragos has managed to sell the remaining pieces to the shipyards, a fact that's hard to forget as he has been telling you about it for the past two cycles, and all that remains is for Havenage to come collect. When you look around at the yard, transform from when you first arrived. Oh, you look around the yard, okay. The mostly repaired drones flip back and forth, no longer buzzing unevenly or lost in dark corners. And the scrap is sectioning, sorted, and the system that you and Dragos have put into place over the past cycle is paying off. As you look, you notice the glow of pale light from the office by the entrance, that rundown cab of a building which houses all the records and spare equipment. Dragos must be inside, and you get your feet, you get to your feet and walk over to find out when the shipyard collection crew will be here. Ah. Sleeper, come in. You swing open the door and walk in. Dragos is sitting at the small metal desk. The shipyards told me they'd be here soon when they hand over the chits and we are set. He writes something with a stylus on his slate and then shuts it off. Of course, we should talk about a bonus. He stands and turns to face you, his face placid. Look, I don't know when the next job is coming in, but this should tide you over for now. He opens a hand to reveal a stack of chits. What's going on here? I said it's a bonus. Take it. Dragos presses you the chits into your hand. I've done well by you, and you've returned the favor. He straightens up and clears his throat, and you realize he has prepared what he is about to say. These chits are for you to take and do what you will with them. They are from me, and they are the last I'm going to give you. He pauses. There's no more work for a sleeper in this yard. He folds his arms. I'm sorry, but that's it. You stay in the container as long as you need, but the yard is done with you. He turns away to his terminal. I need the work. There's plenty of work to be had on the eye. Salvagers need offloads in the rotunda. There's the shipyards, the midline. I'm not the only show in town. The glassy apertures on Dragos' headset betray no emotion. You need to stay away, sleeper. He pauses, considering his words. Trouble is going to follow you here. Trust me. Am I in danger? You expect not to be? You escape from S and R. Drago suddenly grabs you by the shoulder and drags you out of the office into the yard. I'd rather save a horse, uh, ride a cowboy, if you know what I mean. Oh, gosh. I think horses are great animals. I'm just not going to ride them anymore. There's better things to ride. Oh, my. Dirty minds think alike. He turns you to face a stack of pieces from the winter light, dissected, cut down, totally unrecognizable as a ship. You came through that, sleeper. That should have been you, chopped and stacked. His hand trembles on your shoulder. This is what happens here. We cut down broken machines and move them on. Well, I didn't cut you down, but I'm sure as hell moving you on. Moving you on before whoever killed that ship out there comes to kill me. Kill you? Kill both of us, he shakes his head. These ships, they didn't get decommissioned. They didn't break down in dry dock. You think they'd look like that if they did? Someone ended them. That means someone tried to end you, sleeper, and I'm done waiting for them to turn up. We've had our fun. Now it's time. He gives you a little shove. Go on. Go on, get. Turns and walks back into the office. That's it, he shouts and goes inside. Silence hangs in the air as you leave, and your pockets filled with clinking chits and a strangely hollow feeling in your chest. He gave me 48 chits for that? Drive failed. Wait, I failed something? Oh man, I, fa oh, I failed the winter light. Past one help you here. Okay, so interesting. I failed that one because I, I didn't know that that was going to be the end of that, that location. I had no idea. Moe, hello, hello. Greetings to you, my friend. How you doing today? How's your day treating you? The hunter's gonna be here tomorrow. Son of a gun, what do I do? I can spend the hundred. The problem is I won't have any energy tomorrow. I think that's okay though. I think, it, I mean, well. Oh, oh, right, 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 right. I gotta sell this. Sell this component here. That'll give me something. That'll at least feed me. Perfect, okay. So I have 120. I need a hundred to cross this. I think I gotta do it. Well, then again, I see it's a hundred for that. Uh, give you a discount. Uh, discount on passage to the Greenway. Okay, so I can I can do that. That'll that'll open up another part of the ship. Uh, but the other issue is I I kind of need to buy stabilizer before it's too late. I think I'm okay. I'm just not gonna have very many dice. This sucks, but I'm try I'm hoping this Ankita thing pays off for me. She's got 200 cryo for me.
There's not much of a point in, uh... Not much of a point in, uh... Energy right now, I don't think, so... Cross to Greenway. Can I not... <laughs> okay, that's interesting. So that you can't just scroll like usual. Okay. It's Greenway. Overgrown Biosphere. Haifa Commune. Self-sustaining community. Oh, this is interesting. Wild Margins. Artificial Wilderness. She said he'd be by the Margins Wastes or, yeah, I don't know, something, right? Find Ashton. I'll go the tracking for that. Okay. Yeah, so wild margins, right. Work is busy, but in a good way. How are you? Uh, Kind of, I mean, kind of in the same boat, really. Been staying busy, but it's been a good busy. Uh, both work and coaching. I'm going to check out all these places and find out what this is. Okay. Going green. Exploring the greenway is unlike any other place in the eye. It's overgrown chambers defy mapping. Okay. All right, so these... Both risky and danger. I feel like I've only ever seen one safe thing. Uh, oh, now both of these are safe. Okay, so I can become a member of Haifa. Only way to become part of the commune is to work your way in through long service. It isn't for everyone. Okay. So if I do those, those are both safe, which is good to see. None of them are engineer type jobs, though, unfortunately. Okay, look for tracks. Yeah, so I need dice to try to find this guy. Of course. The Waste. Agricultural. Uh, oh, shoot. I can't even do that. Okay. Haifa or Hydra? This one's Haifa. Yeah, Haifa commune. All right. Well, son of a gun. Uh, I can't do anything over here. These all require dice. So I have to go back to... Go back to... Uh, my shipping containers sleep. But maybe some of these other places will give me an, uh, a different place to stay eventually. Like maybe I just didn't, maybe I didn't focus well enough in the beginning. I do have enough for emphasis. I think I'll do that actually. I'll become a friend to emphasis now. I, I don't have much else. Good thing about energy, though, is as long as you have energy, uh, your health doesn't fade as fast. Don't join Hydra. Captain America needs you. Talk to Emphis. Sleeper. Emphis calls out to you, a booming voice that echoes through the corridor. Tell me a story. He throws a handful of chopped mushrooms into his walk, the fire leaping up to meet the oil. I see you. Cycle in, cycle out, but we never speak. Tell me a story. What kind? Any kind. He pauses to drizzle something from a plastic bottle into the walk. But one of yours, he looks up at you. Nothing's stolen. You pause, the spices rich in your nostrils, and think about the kind of story you'd like to tell Emphis. You look at Emphis, the listener, and imagine he has heard it all before. Perhaps he would enjoy a strange story, something with some spice. Uh, oh, ghost story, or... I'm about, about my dreams. All the sleepers you tell Emphis had dreams. Some were simple, some memories left over from the emulation process that become tangled up in their minds and would come out when they slept. It wasn't rare to hear a sleeper in the dorms scream or cry out in the night. But your dreams, those gray, skeletal afterimages of systems and structures, of threads and patterns, weren't like the others. They weren't memories or nightmares. They were reflections of reality. Distorted, yes, but somehow true. You learned, back then, to keep quiet about them, to let them flow through your mind like water. That was until now, until you arrived in this place. Now your dreams colonize your waking life. They slip behind your eyelids with every blink. Now you understand they aren't dreams at all, but some process of interfacing, of speaking, of living in another world that flows through this one like smoke through air. You tell them that you do not know if there is a reason for your dreams. Perhaps you reason is just some side effect or particular, qual particular quality of the frame you inhabit. But whatever it is, it is a gift and you hope to make use of it. Memphis finished cooking, squints a little at you. Sleeper, he smiles. You are quite the storyteller. He eyes you and you realize that he's trying to gauge how honest you have been in your story. Emphis passes you the meal he has cooked, and you take it gratefully. As you eat, he talks, a natural exchange. Thank you, sleeper. He looks around the emptying market. My time is done for today, and I do not want to keep you longer, so I will make a proposal. He gestures to the plastic boxes of ingredients stacked behind his stall. These are good enough for most, but someone told me a story that made me think a couple of cycles ago 
They said that cr across the gap in the greenway, fresh mushrooms grow. Have you heard this? Yes. Then you already know what I want to ask. Emphis begins packing up his things. Can you bring me some? I cannot cross the gap, and I worry about leaving my things behind. He smiles. I'm sure a storyteller like you could handle the trip. I will prepare them for you, and if you wish to tell it, uh, be the audience for another story. Agreed. Good, booms Emphis. Then I will wait for you to bring them. Emphis slides his walk away and straightens up. I will prepare a recipe then, sleeper. Good luck with your foraging. You turn away and walk back into the main market, the risk taste of, risk, rich taste of Emphis' food still lingering in your mouth. Stories for food, you think. A trade that seems more than fair. All right. So what does that mean? Fricassee. Emphis wants to make this old recipe. He'll need three handfuls of griol. Caps fresh and firm. Okay. I don't really know how to do that. Uh, okay. Hunter is going to be here, though, very soon. If not tomorrow, then the day after. One second. Stop. Stop it. All right, I think we gotta end the cycle. It might be a little bit of a cliffhanger. We'll see what happens. I have five cry out of my name. That's not good. Ethan. Cynical bounty hunter, Ethan. Hold it there, sleeper, comes a voice from behind you. Don't you run. I guess I'll stay still. Good, good. A hand patch your code down. You know your master's voice. Ethan spins you around. He's wearing a wide smirk and a slick jacket. You immediately know that he is terrible news. You got all the way out here and then stayed put? He laughs a cruel laugh. That a sleeper thing? You're my first. You barely hear him. You've noticed the handgun he has leveled at your chest, and it's hard to take your eyes off it. He reaches down with his other hand and slips some kind of ring out from a belt loop without taking his eyes off you. Making it to the eye, though, that's pretty good. This place isn't so bad. Bars, markets, people. I pull most of my contracts out of asteroid caves or off of godforsaken moons. He spit, splits the ring into two perfect circles. It's hard to hit civilization when there's so much space to pass through. Stay silent. He reaches over to slide the rings around your wrists. Go easy. Do I try to make a break for it? I mean, I don't think there's anything good going to come out of him being here. I'm going to make a break for it. You see a chance the moment his eyes leave you to watch the rings. You spin, knocking him away and sprinting down the corridor. He then shot, uh, then the shot rings out, echoing off the metal so loud it hurts your ears. A bullet hole smokes in the wall beside your head. You freeze and Ethan closes the gap. This is a very boring routine. Trust me, I've seen it all before. He slips the rings over your trembling wrists. Ethan nudges you to start walking. To the ship and home, he whistles, going easy. You stumble down the corridor, your hands behind you, your mind racing. Who hired you? Your daddy's at s &R. They want you home for dinner. Ethan yawns and continues to nudge you down the corridor. Shame to come all the way out here just to head back to s &R right away. That track of yours makes this too quick. Was hoping you'd put up a bit more of a chase, you know? Running battle through the bright market, maybe, or a holdout in the low end? There's a few establishments I would have enjoyed checking out while I asked around. You walk in on, si on in silence for a little longer, desperately trying to think of a way to escape. That s arp tracker will be the death of you. Hey, I have an idea. Ethan interrupts your thoughts. How about on the way back to the ship we stop for a drink? I'm buying. He laughs at his own idea. His own joke. I have a better idea? It better not be one of those where you do a dramatic pause and then try to jump me, because I'm pretty tired of that. Although, muses Ethan, I've got myself thinking, what's the rush here? Here we are in one of the most lawless joints in the circuit systems, and we are heading for the exit. He pauses and you trudge on in silence. Okay, here's the idea, starts Ethan. You and me, we make a little agreement. Here are the terms. He turns to you to face him. You run or leave or try to abandon the eye, I shoot you. You plot or scheme to try to kill me, I shoot you. But, he smiles, you come meet me at the esta an establishment of my choice every few cycles and you pay my tab, I don't shoot you. He pauses, you don't pay my tab, he rattles the handgun, you get the idea. I get it. Okay, then that sounds to me like a deal. He stretches, you know, I really thought I was going to have to kill you, but this is so much better. 
He clicks something at his belt and the rings release from your wrists. I'm going to see if I can find my old stool at the compressor club. Come see me there. He aims the handgun at you, squinting down the sight. Let me just remind you, that body of yours is one big tracker, so I don't even think about so don't even think about leaving the eye. I'll know. Ethan turns and strides off down the corridor, slipping his handgun away. The mix of relief and terror you feel is overwhelming. What are you gonna do? The yeah, problem is I have no money whatsoever. Um and I still have not rolled what I need to roll in order to get the hunter data and whatnot. I didn't have enough time to get the tracker removed. That's tough. Compressor club, how often do I have to go there? Every five days. Okay. I wonder how much that's going to cost me. Because again, I just don't have any money. I wonder if he shoots me if I immediately die or if I ha if I just lose health. Hard to tell. Okay. All right, my friends. Uh, I don't have enough time to do a full cycle, so I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Um, let's head to the tavern. Uh, all right. Well, we have made some good progress on uh, Citizen Sleeper. Uh, so I, I, the plan is to check that out again tomorrow, see if we can maybe finish a playthrough of it. Um, I actually meant to, to check this out here. Is this on? Krukel, cheers up to you, my friend. Citizen Sleeper. Yeah, so it says that the game takes about seven and a half hours. I'm trying to think. I played this... Uh, was it did I play longer on I don't think I did play the any longer on Friday so we're probably a little over four hours of playing so it's possible you'd finish it tomorrow it's possible it says anywhere between six to uh, seven and a half hours so we'll see how it goes we might finish it up tomorrow great hanging out with everyone as usual you too give a cheers up to you true Kelp. cheers um let me go ahead and give out my thank yous as usual Coleman appreciate you being here and modding for us today we got a follow from Jersey Griffin thank you so much Jersey for the follow and our Kofi members Katic Coleman Iron Phil Fresh Curry Nidalicious Peachy and Spooky thank you all so much for chilling with me today I really am enjoying Citizen Sleeper a lot it's it's a good it's got a good amount of mystery to it and you guys know I'm a sucker for a good mystery just want you to be hydrated I do need to I, I will do a better job of hydrating today what happened yesterday was we went to lunch with the team and uh and I'm not not only blaming this person but we were at lunch for a long time in the middle of the day um and I felt like I was doing a decent job of hydrating up to that point um but I got there a little bit later because I had a meeting uh, that I, ha I had to take a call uh, for another meeting before meeting everybody for lunch. So, and I got there a little later because uh, I had to, I was parked in our company's garage, which is like a block away. So I had to walk back to my car. My boss was parked right out front. So I, I, I had to walk all the way to my car, then drive there. Traffic was sucky too. So I got there after everybody. And so the server like never took a drink order for me. I did ask her for a water and she just never brought it out. Um, so, and I, I got distracted with talking with everybody and I didn't, I should have asked her when she came back around, Hey, can I get that water? You know? So I did not stay hydrated yesterday, but I'll do a better job today. So I hopefully I don't pass out in the heat, but, um, we'll be back again tomorrow. More citizen sleeper is the plan. Um, until then, I do hope you all will take care of yourselves. If it's getting warmer, you're living, uh, be safe out there. It is, uh, not, we've not had time to get acclimated to this for a lot of us. So. Be safe. I uh, hope we'll catch you tomorrow. Love y'all. Bye.